Hello, would you like to leave a legacy for future generations? Do you want to also save federal taxes year after year, generation after generation? Do you want to learn the secret of the rich? I'm so glad you're taking some time out to watch this. My name is Sally Gimmon, and I'm the owner of the TrustIsYou.com. The Spendthrift Trust is legal, copywritten in the IRS tax code 643B. It does come from England way back when King Henry VIII, the famous king who chopped off his wife's heads, started the Church of England. It's contract law that came to the colonies while we were still part of England. The law firm I work on behalf of inherited a trust that uh, turned 350 years old in 2023, before we were a country. Currently, our tax code went into effect February of 1913, 110 years ago, and it, uh, the super rich families of that time, the DuPonts, the Carnegies, the Kennedys, and the uh, Rockefellers made sure this was in the IRS tax code so they could save federal taxes. If they can save federal taxes, why can't we save federal taxes? Let me tell you a quick story about myself. I am a real estate investor. Back in two, uh, I started real estate investing back in 2018. And in 2019, I was working full-time as a Medicare broker, and I wholesaled seven properties nationwide. Yay, Sally! I paid off all my debt, and I was doing great. Then my CPA called me and asked me to come into the office. Unfortunately, I owed the IRS $79,000 and short-term capital gains for selling all the property. I thought I had a huge L on my forehead. I was a rock star in my real estate group. How could I have forgot about paying taxes? Um, my, my, my world kind of shut down right at that point. It's feast or famine when you're a real estate investor. He set me up on a payment plan. It was going to be about $12,000 a month. Um, I, got, I kept it together. I shook his hand, uh, signed the paperwork, went out, got my uh, parking validated, went down to the parking garage, and literally cried for 20 minutes. I had to drive back home. My boyfriend made me dinner. Two of us are sitting there staring at each other, and I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, so, I, you know, I started researching it. Next morning, I, I, you know, I knew I knew about the Rockefellers Trust, the Spendthrift Trust. I started re researching the Spendthrift Trust. Took me five months. I found the law firm that I now am a representative for. Started both my business trust and my beneficial trust in September of 2000. With uh, when I started doing that, I asked if I could become a representative because I wanted to teach other real estate investors how they too could save money. I was teach I was teaching in my real estate group for a uh, uh, mastermind, first female woman in my real estate group to teach a mastermind. Yay, Sally! And then I had a falling out with the gentleman who ran the group. My thinking into results coach, Susan Ma, gave me three very hard things to do. She said I had to start my own company, I had to find a new real estate group, and I had to move. You know, I'm like, Susan, tell me to lose 10 pounds or something, Not, you know, some major things. So that's what I did. So in March of 2022, I started the trustisyou.com. Um, I, you know, I want to help as many U.S. business owners, U.S. 1099 income earners, and U.S. investors save as much money as they can year after year, legally. So, let me get into this. The full name for the Spendthrift Trust is Irrevocable Complex, um, Irrevocable Complex Discretionary Non-Grantor Spendthrift Trust. Irrevocable goes from generation to generation. The Rockefellers Trust is called The Office. It's uh, seven generations old and has almost 400 people under the same EIN or Employee Identification Number, Tax ID. Irrevocable, complex. This the trust can hold money from day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year, uh, decade to decade. Discretionary. Whoever are the trustees can make the rules for the beneficiaries. Non-grantor. This makes the trust one hundred percent private. When you start the trust, you're going to have someone who is not a beneficiary sign up to be the settler, the person who starts the trust, and be the trustee for five minutes. After that, they sign themselves away. This is not a speed bump. If you can't find someone to do this, either myself or someone else at the law firm will do this free of charge for you. And then the fifth element, spendthrift, has been in front of the United States Supreme Court on two separate occasions, and both times the Supreme Court has favored the spendthrift trust, saying it's legal as legal can be. So 
if the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, Carnegie's, U.S. presidents have this trust, you should find out about it too. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how come my a CPA or my financial advisor has never told me this? Good question. Currently, there are over a million attorneys in the United States, active attorneys in the United States. Only 4% of them are trust attorneys. They, they study in law school a textbook called Scott and Asher on Trust, 5th edition, and the spam of trust is in there. Right now, every year, 97, 97% of every trust that's sold in the United States is exactly what my mom and dad had and what Susie Orman talks about on PBS television, the family trust. The only thing the family trust does is avoid going through probate. Then it dissolves. This is not your mom and dad's trust. This is what uh, the, um, the very rich families have, like O.J. Simpson, uh, Robin Williams, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, Carnegie's, uh, U.S. presidents. This is uh, to help you save taxes. Now let's break this down so you understand this. I, it's broken down into two different trusts. One trust is the business trust. This is for U.S. business owners and U.S. 1099 income earners. You will save at least 90% on your federal income taxes and state income taxes if you live in a state. 43 states has state income taxes or personal taxes. Just to give you an idea, one of my, one of my uh, people that I helped, my favorite uh, uh, New York style pizzeria here in the Charlotte area, he and his wife have two locations. They're making about $15,000 a month, $180,000 a year, and at 90%, they're going to save over $27,000 a year. What are they going to do with that? In 2024, they're going to open a third location. In 2025, they're going to open a, a fourth location. They're going to continue working for about another 10 years. And when they retire, they will give two pizzerias to one child, two pizzerias to another child, no inheritance tax. And the kids will also sell, save 1099, uh, 1099 uh, federal income taxes too. I just worked with a, a gentleman in New Jersey who has his own auto body shop. He and his wife run this. We're going to save them both New Jersey income taxes and federal income taxes over $39,000. And what he plans to do that with that is hire two uh, apprentices to teach them how to fix cars so he can continue having his auto body shop and retire, uh, not have to work so hard. Good for him. So the business trust is for U.S. business owners and U.S. 1099 income earners. You will save at least 90% on your federal income taxes every single year and in 43 states save state income taxes. In 2022, I saved 92% on my three businesses. I was happy to pay 8%. So that's the business trust. You can just have one trust or you can have two trusts. The second trust I want to talk about is the beneficial trust. This is for all U.S. investors. I don't care what kind of investing you're doing. You're going to save the following five taxes with the beneficial trust, short-term and long-term capital gains. Remember, I got in trouble for uh, wholesaling. That's short-term capital gains. Wholesaling, fix and flipping, tax liens, everything else. That's anything that is less than a year. If it's more than a year, it's either 15% or 20%. I helped the uh, husband and wife who sold their family restaurant. At 15%, we saved them $460,000, and at 20%, they saved $600,000. He's 69, his wife is 64, that's for their retirement. Six figures saving in capital gains. Amazing. Interest income. This is for anybody who is uh, doing passive investing, doing creative financing, seller financing. If you do subject to real estate, or you do the burst strategy, or if you have notes like I do, or if you're a Forex investor. Forex investors, sad news for you. You get taxed twice, capital gains and interest income. I, with, with this trust, you will save both those taxes. I just helped somebody who uh, has a W-2 got a job, can't help him there, but I was able to save him over um, $23,545 in capital gains and interest income. He's now gonna quit his job, excellent. You're going to save dividend income. So if you're in the stock market, you're a day trader, you're doing commodities trading, you're doing futures trading, that, that's taxed from 10% to 37%, whatever your tax bracket is, it will be saved with the beneficial spendthrift trust. If you're an options trader, you guys get taxed 40% on your profits for a year, a year or less and 60% on profits for a year or more. I, the spendthrift trust, the beneficial spendthrift trust will save those taxes. Um, rental income taxes. 
If you have short-term 